Okay, here's the thing. It came to my attention the other day that there's not a lot of people who understand that who the hell is calling me? Hello? Hello? Damn spammers. Came to my attention the other day that not a lot of people understand the difference of a free coaster versus a cassette. And the reason I know that is because we were at the shop and a kid was like, I don't understand the difference between a free coaster and a cassette. And then it led me to my next point. A lot of people probably buy BMX wheels and they have no idea what the difference between a free coaster and a cassette is. I'm actually about to be changing my cassette back to a free coaster because I want to have more fakey dominant stuff. And that'll bring me to my next point, which I show you guys the difference between a cassette and a free coaster. Now I'm sure some of you guys are probably like, this is dumb. We know what the difference is, but you gotta remember there's a lot of people out there that don't. Gotta watch out for dog shit, landmines everywhere. Nope, that's a front wheel. Okay, that's a back wheel. Let's bring it inside. <laughs> one makes noise. The next main difference is, one, when you start to pedal, it cranks the wheel right away. The second you pedal, it's engaged. You have to actually pedal to go backwards. Oh. Buy my truck, 9,500 bucks. Yeah. You can start with that right there. What do you got? That's 20, 20 down, bucks. dude. That's pretty good down payment. Wait, you're putting a coaster on? Free coasting. Why is that? Just want, man. Just need it. Other difference between free coaster. I like your hot rods don't fit it. Dan wants to put some spokes in this bad boy real quick first. He likes to keep me rolling good. Me personally, I don't really care, but Dan's gonna dial me in. Perfect. All the spokes are in, Dan got me dialed. All right, well, let's show you guys real quick the difference. Basically what I was talking about before with the slack is before when I would pedal, it would instantly start to engage. Watch, I have to go about a quarter crank to make it engage. I'll show you again. So it's disengaged right now, which means that you don't have to pedal when you go backwards or forward. But then when you go to pedal forward to get it to engage again, you have to go to a crank and then it engages. Look, I'm not pedaling backwards at all and it's going. Let's go get used to this thing in the backyard for a little bit. So I feel pretty used to it. Gotta get more used to it though in a different setting. So tomorrow or the next day, not too sure. I know we're gonna go meet up with a bunch of dudes, possibly go ride some street and or a skate park. I'm excited to get some clips on this thing. But now you guys know the difference between free coaster and cassette. There's a quick one to start the video off only because I heard this question the other day. All right, next day, we're at Johnny's house. This is how you know you're at Johnny's house. Amazing Jeep, tons of Dodge Neons, crazy Cummins truck, and a badass garage. But the other reason you know you're at Johnny's house is what I'm gonna show you in the back. Also, his wife has my dream car. And someone else has my old car. Oh, what's up, Pop? Oh, my puppies. Look at those jumps. All right, let's see if we can get through these things first try. Am I following you or? No, go ahead. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Well, that's the most crooked camera ever. Johnny said the second one's really long, so I'm a little nervous. I feel like you should do the honors. I'm gonna do, I'll do, I'll do the, I should probably be smart about it. Okay, first one's done. Now we gotta do the second one. There you go.
We did it. You gotta just like go super slow on that first one so you get the maximum pump. You guys heard what almost happened there. I just almost died on that one. Automatically does better. I'm like, it's crazy. See what Johnny's saying. He's like, you gotta like kind of work too much. He wants to rebuild that back lip. But dude, for a set of backyard jumps, he's gonna have around the berm. This thing's gonna be insane. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Thank you. And now you guys see what I see. Yes, I'm gonna try it. I also have no clue how it's gonna go. It's either gonna go good or bad. I'm not sure. Oh. We did it. I definitely rode through dog shit. There's the shit, and I think that's the culprit. Pretty much right now, just getting insanely excited to go to a Rufus the Soul concert. We want to do this for a while. Thing is, kind of got the tickets on an unfortunate event for somebody else, but very fortunate for me and my girlfriend. My tattoo artist, Eddie, he had a baby shower or christening to go to, and he's the godfather, so he couldn't miss it. So he hit me up and was like, hey, do you want these tickets? And I was like, hell yeah. So we're on our way to do that right now. This is going to be quite possibly the one and only time I ever get to see him, and it's in Orlando, where I live, and very excited. So let's do it. Thank <laughs> you. 